the night before battle and gathered in groups the soldiers lay close in their quarters they were thinking no doubt of their dear ones at home of mothers wives sisters and daughters with a pipe in his mouth sat a dashing young blade and a song he was lilting quite gaily he was on as pat murphy of maher's brigade and he sang of the sprig of shillelagh what a pity, says Pat, it's a shame for the sea, brothers fighting in such a queer manner. But I fight till I die if I shouldn't be killed for America's bright starry banner. If only it was John Bull to the fore, I'd rush into battle quite gaily. For the spalpeen I'd wrap with a heart and a half with me elegant spring a shillelagh. Jeff. Davis, you thief, if I had you but here, your beautiful plans I'd be ruining. Faith, I'd give ye a taste of me bane if he dad for trying to burst up the union. There's a crowd in the north who and they're just as bad. Abolition despot so scaly for troubling the people I think to deserve a whack from me spring of shillelagh. Satisfaction. The drummers were baiting the devil's tattoo, calling the boys into action. Then the Irish brigade into battle was seen, their blood and our call shedding freely. With their pain and chances, they rushed to the fall, the shout for the land of Shillelagh. Battle was o'er the deadly in heaps. Pat Murphy lay bleeding and gory. A hole through his head from rifleman shot had finished his pant for glory. No more in the camp shall his laughter be heard, or his voice singing did he so gaily. Like a hero, he died for the land of the free, far away from the land of Shillelagh. Then surely Columbia can never forget why honor and fame hold communion. Oh no, be the brave Irish volunteers fought in defense of the flag of the Union. And if ever old Ireland for freedom should strike, a hand will offer quite freely. And the stars and the stripes shall be seen alongside of the flag of the land of Shillelagh.